Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be about comparing two different primers. We're going to be comparing the the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. We're going to see if they're the same, which one's better, which one's like a hit or miss kind of thing. So yeah, keep on watching. <laughs> So at first glance, it's like a pink color. Um, it's very like soft. Mm, doesn't feel very silicone-y. I'm just going to apply it in like my T-zone, which gets the most oiliness. And like right here where I have the most pores. Yeah, it's like super easy to blend. And then... I'm going to be going in with the Tatcha, the silk canvas on my left side of the face. And what I do like about this primer is that it came, it comes with a, a little like spatula, if you will. So you can like scoop out the product instead of having to put your fingers in there. And then I just kind of grab it with my finger and then just kind of doing the same, kind of just putting it on like my t-zone yeah the tatcha one does have a smell which is actually pretty good it doesn't like it doesn't smell bad or anything and it's not that strong it kind of just goes away after you apply it okay so at first glance on my left side my pores do look more blurred compared to the right side they are blurred but not as much today's foundation is going to be the wet and wild photo focus foundation I mentioned it in my June favorites video. Um, it's like very affordable if you haven't tried it. It does smell like paint thinner. Pretty sure you guys have already heard that. And what I usually do, I just kind of grab the spatula and just do like little dots through my face. I like to do it section by section just because I feel like the foundation, so it just so the foundation will like dry off and leave weird spots on my face. The foundation is very buildable, but for today I'm just going to be doing one layer of um, one layer so it can be more like on the natural-ish side. Okay, so let's see how it looks now. Okay, yeah, like I said, the my pores look more blurred on my left side where I did put the the Tatcha one compared to the um, my right side with the, the one with the e.l.f. primer. I mean, it's not bad. It doesn't look horrible. And now I'm going to be going in with my concealer. And it's also from Wet n Wild. And it's the Photo Focus Concealer in Light Medium. Oh, I forgot to mention. My foundation was in the shade Cream Beige. If anyone's interested. But yes, this is the one in Light Medium. And I just... See, I'm going more for like a, a natural look. So I'm going to just be applying a little bit of concealer, nothing too dramatic. And then I'm going to be going in with my Morphe Beauty Sponge and just going to be blending that out. After I apply my concealer and everything, I usually go in with my setting powder and this is from Laura Mercier and it's the Invisible Loose Setting Powder and I just kind of take a kabuki brush and this is from e.l.f. and I just kind of dab it in there, tap it and then just kind of dab throughout my entire face I'm going to be doing my eyebrows and then this, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Medium Brown. I know most people do their eyebrows before their foundation, but my makeup routine is different, I guess. I, I like to do my eyebrows after I do my foundation and concealer, just because it's easier for me. But, but yeah, and so I usually just, when I'm taking the Morphe M165 and just kind of drag it in there. And I usually begin with... By drawing in the tail of my eyebrows and then I, with whatever's left in the brush I just kind of take it in 
and just kind of brush it in there. If they're not even, I just kind of fix it with concealer. My brows, I'm just taking a concealer brush. This is actually from a Sephora brush collection. Um, but any concealer brush works. I just kind of take it and just kind of outline. And then with my finger, I just blend out the concealer. So the eyebrows are done. Now I'm going to be going in with my bronzer. So for my bronzer today, I'm going to be using the butter, the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm actually running out, running pretty low on it. As you can see, I've already hit pan. So I'm just taking a Morphe powder brush. And this is from the vegan brush collection that they have. And I just kind of grab it. Just doing like the circular motions. And then when I'm going to, I don't necessarily contour my nose. So I just kind of take a little bit of bronzer and just kind of lightly just follow along the bridge of my nose. Just to define it a little bit more, if you will. so that's about it what I do and if I see that I put too much bronzer on my nose I just kind of like blend it in with my fingers okay so that's pretty much what I do for a bronzer and for a blush I'm using the I'm using the um, Tarte Amazonian clay blush and the shade party and it actually broke so I'm just gonna take my blush brush and it's a Morphe um, brush and it's again from the vegan collection brush set that they have and I just kind of lightly tap it in there and then just lightly tap it onto my cheeks okay and that's it that's I don't I like to do a lot of brush. Um, I don't like to do a lot of blush if I'm just if I'm going more for like of a natural makeup look. And for highlight today, I'm going to be using a Morphe High Impact. It's like a mini one in the shade Spark. And I'm taking a Morphe M510, and it's just like a little highlight bl um, brush. And I'm just kind of taking it, dabbing it in there. Tapping out the fallout, the excess, and then just slightly applying it to the top of my cheekbones. Just to kind of give it a little subtle glow. I like to apply some on my brow bone. And on the tip of my nose. And I just take it like a small blending brush and take a little bit and apply it in the inner corner of my eye just to make my eyes pop or look more open. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Mascara in the shade Blackest Black. So that's it for the eyelashes and now since I'm just doing like I said a natural look I'm just gonna apply some lip gloss and call it a day and for the lip gloss I'm gonna be using is the Glossier lip gloss I know they came out with two different shades but this is just a clear one that, that I'm gonna be using today and I don't like to like swipe it. I just kind of like to dab it on my lips And that's it and that is today's look all right so since we were comparing the two different primers I mean I'm done with my makeup 
So far, I mean, I'm not disappointed in the e.l.f. primer. It's holding up pretty good. Okay, so the e.l.f. primer is holding up pretty good. It, it's, it does blur my pores. I can still see a little bit, but it does do a, a good job in blurring most of them. It's not bad for $8, and it, it's translucent or sheer. That's what it says in the back, and it is like a pink color. Um, doesn't really have a smell to it compared to the Tatcha one. The only thing is that it doesn't come with like an applicator or anything, so you can use a brush if you don't want to put your fingers in there, or you can use your fingers. It's totally up to you. And so yeah, this is eight bucks. It's not bad. It's actually pretty. It's all right. It's pretty good actually. And then for the Tatcha one, it does come with a little applicator, so you don't have to put your fingers in there. But if you want to use a brush for your fingers, then it's totally up to you. Um, this one does have a, a light scent or fragrance or whatever, but it doesn't like stay on as soon as you apply it onto your skin. It just kind of like goes away. I feel like this one does um, blur out my pores more than the e.l.f. primer, but I mean it's not bad. Like the e.l.f. primer is not bad for it being $8. This one is more on the pricier side, but I mean I guess this one's kind of more of like an affordable option means they're pretty good i like it so yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye